Mention the word audit and most people get very nervous. Why is an audit such a terrifying ideal? Have you ever been through an audit? Oh, thank goodness, and I hope it never happens to me. We all hope the same. Business and corporations are far more likely to be targeted for an audit than an individual taxpayer, but it can happen to anyone, especially if the CRA identifies something unusual in your tax files and wants to look into it further. Well, what's the real purpose of an audit? To get more tax revenue. Really, the deep, dark purpose of any audit is to find something, anything, that can give the CRA a reason to assess you for more taxes, hopefully with interest and penalties added in to make the effort even more worthwhile. And if the audit turns up evidence of tax fraud, even better, because then the CRA can also refer your case to the Department of Justice for criminal prosecution and then go after you for civil and criminal penalties and interest. Well, what do taxpayers need to know to survive an audit? The most important thing you need to know when you receive a notice of audit is to immediately consult with your tax lawyer. At the outset, you won't know what the auditor is really looking for. He may be trying to lay the groundwork for an investigation. So your first consideration should be to protect as much of your personal information as possible. You can only do that if a lawyer steps in to represent you. Your lawyer will request that the auditor be specific about the records he or she wishes to see and will attempt to provide only that material. Let your lawyer manage all the communications with the CRA. That way you cannot be trapped into revealing something that may give the auditor another lead to investigate. And if there is a search and seizure, which is a very clear warning sign that the CRA is trying to build a, ca a case against you, punishable in the criminal courts, your tax lawyer can attempt to challenge the admissibility of that evidence in court. Or, if he can prove the seizure was improper, try to reclaim the evidence before the auditor reviews it. Even if the audit appears very simple and straightforward, don't automatically agree to let the auditor visit you at your home or place of business. That's the CRA's favorite tactic for gathering evidence about how you live and how you spend your money. Of course, if the CRA appears at your door with a search warrant, you have no choice but to allow them access. But you should contact your lawyer right away while the CRA is at your premises if possible. And if the auditor tries to speak to my accountant, then what do I do? That's why it's so important to contact your tax lawyer immediately. Your legal counsel can step between your accountant and the CRA, possibly even take in possession of all your accounting records so that the CRA is forced to go through the lawyer to ask any accounting questions. When people come to us after the auditors have already questioned the accountant and seized their records, it's harder for us to safeguard their information. And remember, if the CRA has reason to suspect there has been some kind of tax fraud, there is no restriction on how many tax years can be reviewed and possibly reassessed. And what do I expect after the audit? Most likely you'll be reassessed for more tax owing. No matter how clean your tax reporting is, there's usually something the auditor can dig up to require payment of more tax. Is an audit really as scary as we think? It can be your worst nightmare. We've seen people's lives absolutely ruined by the outcome of an audit. As tax lawyers, we try to mitigate the damage and help taxpayers negotiate a reasonable settlement with the CRA. But an audit can draw, drag on for years, can drag you in, to, in and out of criminal court before it's finally resolved. The sooner you retain an experienced tax lawyer, the better your chances of shortening the pain.